Welcome to Saving History. I'm SC Digger. There's Palmetto up there on the top of the hill. And uh, we are back in Virginia here at the Just Go Detecting Fall Hunt here. And uh, we're uh, in a camp that is dug in Winter Union Camp, Excelsior Brigade. And uh, we've been hunting here a while and trying to find our way around. And I got my first uh, good target here with the, with the uh, Technetics T2 using the stock coil running uh, about 80 sensitivity zero discrimination two plus tones and it's ground balancing right about 57 so we've got good ground for cold pepper and uh you'll come right down here with me see where i broke the plug and peeking out there under the dirt isn't that cool got a beautiful drop three ringer right there in the ground so let's keep going okay so we're hunting a civil war site but i'm gonna show you something really cool as i'm working my way around these rocks right here check this out beautiful quartz point just laying there how about that all right so russ and i have put on our five inch coils here on the t2s and we're working an area that I think it was uh, a barn, uh, incredible amount of iron. Matter of fact, a lot of uh, folks who've come through here with PI machines have uh, pretty much just gone right through it because it is relentless in terms of the uh, targets. And uh, we said we're gonna pick something out of here. And here, uh, bright and early, I believe I have pulled myself a nice little flat button out of this iron here and I haven't picked it up so I don't know if there's anything on it It'd be nice I think it's just gonna be plain see the shank on the back suppose it's got some gold gilt let's see what else we can get all righty got another good target here in this iron Nothing fancy, but it's a nice brass D-buckle there. Alrighty, one of the things you gotta make sure you do when you're in a uh, Civil War site is dig the iron, because sometimes that iron could be a good target too, and I've got one down here in the hole. I'll show you what I got. Got me a, it's kinda busted up, but got me a nice cavalry stirrup there. So I'm pretty pleased with that big piece of iron right there. Got uh, Riley right here watching over my shoulder here. He's dug a lot of good things this weekend as well. So let's go get it. All right, we are at the end of the weekend. Everybody's eating chili and got their relics out displayed. So we're gonna take a look at a few of the relics that uh, were pulled out of the ground here this weekend. I got one for sale. All that stuff right here? We got a trailer full of it. Yes, sir. And his little buddy. Relics here. He's the same way. Take a look at some of the special relics. Some nice token. Right here we got a bullet struck OVM box plate. Here's something cool. Silver Masons. I got some space. What is it? It's like Real. Somebody pulled a green partial Louisiana sword belt plate. Somebody pulled out. Yeah, that's what I mean. He already got the only thing here before me. Nice. Wisconsin. Nice piece. Somebody got the tongue portion of a CS tongue. Who's that? Who is that? Riley. 
actually found of a gold coin. It's a modern panda, but it's gold. All right, so we had a gray relic hunt. Glad you had a chance to come along with us for Saving History. I'm S.C. Dicker.